Hey everyone and welcome to this video on outlier analysis. Outliers are data points that are significantly different from the rest of the data in a data set. And identifying and analyzing them is an important aspect of data analysis. In this video, we'll be discussing why it's important to identify and analyze outliers and we'll also cover some techniques for doing so. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all our future videos. Starting with what is outlier analysis, it's the process of identifying and analyzing data points that are significantly different from the rest of the data in a data set. Now let's talk about why outliers are important. Outliers can significantly impact the results of statistical analysis and machine learning algorithm. So it's important to identify and handle them appropriately. Outliers can also be indicative of errors in the data collection process or any anomalies in the data. So analyzing them can help us better understand the underlying patterns in the data. One common technique for identifying outliers is to use box plots. That shows the distribution of data by plotting the minimum, first quartile, medium, third quartile and maximum value. Outliers are typically identified as the data points that fall outside of the upper and lower bound of the box plot which is defined as 1.5 times the interquartile range above the third quartile and below the first quartile respectively. Another technique for identifying outliers is to use statistical tests such as Grubbs test or Z-score method. These tests can help us determine if a data point is significantly different from the rest of the data, therefore could be considered as an outlier. Another approach could be clustering. Clustering algorithms can also be used to identify outliers by grouping similar data points together and identifying those that do not belong to any of the clusters. To understand more about clustering, click on the link in the top right corner of the video. Once we have identified the outliers, we need to decide how to handle them. One option is to simply remove them from the dataset. Although this can be risky if the outliers are actually indicative of an important underlying pattern. Hence, this can be a good option if the outliers are a result of errors in the data collection process or if they are not indicative of any important patterns in the data. Another approach is to keep the outliers and applying any transformation on that so that it conforms to a normal distribution. Another option is to try and understand the cause of the outlier and see if it can be corrected. For example, if an outlier is caused by error in the data collection process, we may be able to fix the error and include that data point in the analysis. And that's it for this video on outlier analysis. I hope you now have a better understanding of why it's important to identify and analyze outliers as well as some techniques for doing so. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all our future videos.